Happy Friday. I have um, not been much of a TV person as an adult. I now have a TV show, which is odd, but um, I, I still don't watch all that much other TV. And that's not because I don't like TV, it's because I like TV too much. I find television overly engrossing. If a TV is on in a room, I cannot do anything else in that room except stare at it with my mouth open. I can't eat a meal in front of a TV because I'll forget to eat the food. At a, at a restaurant or a bar, if a TV is on somewhere in that room, I will ignore my food, I will ignore my drink, which is something for me. I will ignore my company. I have to watch the light box. I can't escape its loving glow. And I think that problem I have as an adult is in large part because I grew up watching great TV. I watched the early best days of pro wrestling before it got like it is now. I watched the dawn of MTV when it was still music on television and there were VJs and when it wasn't just music videos and VJs, it was shows and news that were at least vaguely about music. I used to watch the 700 Club back when Pat Robertson was still saying that he could heal people live on television. I'm sorry, whenever you think about Pat Robertson, TV does not get better than that. It's like crack. It is totally a Addicting. But the best stuff I grew up watching uh, was already old when I watched it, and I'm old. Uh, the best stuff I grew up watching was reruns. I Love Lucy, Gilligan's Island, The Brady Bunch, and this show, uh, which I used to watch obsessively in reruns on early MTV. Here we come, walking down the street. We get funny as lost from everyone we meet. opening credit sequence is so ingrained in my audible and visible memory that I can't believe there was ever a time I did not know it. It is foundational to my American culture DNA. Joining us tonight for the interview is a man who was touring as part of the Monkees as recently as last summer. A man who emailed us at this show this week, who got in touch when we all learned the very sad news that the front man for the Monkees, Davy Jones, had passed away from a heart attack at the age of 66. Our guest tonight for the interview is Peter Tork. And Mr. Tork, I have to say Mr. it. Mr. Tork. <laughs> Does nobody call that you sounds that? Like, that sounds like an old person. I feel like an old person talking about what I used to watch growing up, but I used to watch you. I was obsessed with, um, the monkeys and I have to say I'm so happy to meet you and have you here. Thank Same you. here. Yeah. You're a hero to my family. Really? And me. Yeah, we oh, oh. well we we come from that side of thinking. The tracks. The track, yeah. We do. Yeah. <laughs> the political tracks. Well let, let me is it I mean to hear me explain why I am so impressed to meet you, is, is it weird to you that kids in the eighties like me in part learned what the 60s were like by watching watching you on MTV? I hadn't thought of it in those terms. Um, it, it was, uh, and, and nothing was ever weird about it. Everything was incremental, you know, well, this is going to happen, and then over there it'll be like, but in the meantime, it's only a step at a time, and you know, and then the monkeys came, and then they went, we said, oh, no, 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 no. and then there was a reunion. Oh, there's gonna be a reunion. Oh, okay, step by step, make the reunion thing happen. Oh, and it's gonna be on MTV. How lucky that is for the tour. That's gonna be great. So you, but, were, you got, you went into reruns at the same time you guys were getting reruns, which were huge, which are the, huge. The like MTV Rachel, reruns, yeah. At the same time that you guys were getting back together. That's right. It was just, as far as we know, strictly coincidental. A shot from on high. The monkeys um, were were sort of formed for television to capitalize yeah. on the success of, yeah. of the Beatles. What did you think of the other guys in the band when you got put together with them? You guys weren't an organic band that formed That's alone. Right. That's right. Somebody put you together. What did you think of them? What did I think of the guys? Yeah. Over the long run or first blush? First blush and then over Didn't the Didn't think run. a thing one way or the other, right. except this is strange. I guess you asked about something strange. That was strange. Hi, how are you? You guys are the monkeys. How do you do? How do you do? It's like, okay. <laughs> that was strange. And then over the long run? And then over the long run. Well, I have, uh, I have liked and loved and respected each of them in different ratios. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to go much further than that. Well, let me, uh, you don't Particularly have to answer now. this. And, and the reason that we are talking is because Davy Jones has passed away. I, I, the, what, from what I know about your history, um, you guys at times used to fight like cats and dogs, and at times were very good friends, and sometimes all of that at the same time. Did, it, did you have a, continue to have sort of a tumultuous relationship like that even, even recently? Um, the, 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 the realist answer that I think of is something like uh, uh, we were a, like you know a high school championship 
basketball team. Mm -hmm. We were there for a purpose. What happened between us as people was entirely irrelevant as long as we worked as a team when we were on the floor as a to carry that metaphor mm -hmm. on. Um, so yeah, there was there was some stuff. We um, um, there is a, there are tell-all books out there that tell most of it, mm -hmm. and uh, some. So yeah, there was some stuff. But you know, I, as I said, I have a lot of uh, affection and respect for all of those guys in different ratios. And um, and gosh, it's really uh, one of the things about. Uh, talking about Davy's passing when uh, a lot of people called up so when you have a reaction you, well yeah I got reactions it's like first of all the British expression gobsmacked yeah when you go bam it's like being hit with a wet fish or something and then I was called upon to talk about the best of the man and I was it was really something to be reminded uh, the day-to-day -day business of doing the concert, hi, how are you? We always had a quick hug and a little shout-out when we before each show, and we were able to do whatever we were doing on stage. But yeah, things came and went, but we didn't. We just ignored that, by and large. We were lucky that way. Uh, old pros, you can just ignore it. Are you are you happy when you think about your? Um, your national image that you are, because of reruns, because of the, the continuing popularity of the band, it's, it happened so long ago, it happened in the 60s, but you are, through the continuing popularity of the Monkees, you're sort of in the time capsule yeah. in terms of what the Beatlemania era was like in America. Do you like that? Yeah, well, I got a <laughs> gray, that kind of stuff. Um, you know, I don't have an opinion about it one way or the other. It's yeah. like, compared to what? You know, I, there I was, and part of me goes, very peculiar. Part of me goes, you know, uh, my father taught school, and I taught school, and this is this is a job. Yeah. And part of me goes, my God, what's happening? And it, it, it's all kind, all over the map, the feelings, the sentiments. Well, you reaching out to us uh, on the occasion of this news uh, this week about Mr. Jones was really kind, and I'm really happy to meet you. And um, I paid a lot of attention to you when I was growing up. I'm really happy to meet you. Thanks. I pay a lot of attention to you. <laughs> Thanks, Peter. Thanks. Thanks a lot. All right, uh, Peter Tork from the Monkees, and from my childhood, and from right now. It's amazing.